Hello there, survivors. This is Carithwin at Myth Trekker, and this is the War Z. I just thought I'd actually do a video on an update of what's happening and uh, my views, and hopefully they'll be interesting and insightful. What's happened recently is there's been I've had a lot of deaths, I've had a lot of excitement, uh, I've also had a lot of worry as well. Uh, one of the main worries is I've been forced to shoot on people, and I must admit I've not liked that whatsoever. I get short of breath and I end up shaking, and it's I don't like it. I've, I, I do actually shout first to basically answer. Uh, I think if they're alright, they need any help. If they don't want to answer, answer me or I'll shoot. One guy yesterday at Pleasant Valley didn't answer, he was in the RV. I had a view right down the middle with my pistol and I fired five times, uh, each one hitting him. Uh, but his body disappeared. He must have uh, rage quit. And uh, I didn't like doing that at all. I'm just glad that after that, running over towards the mountain crest, construction site, later on, I uh, found two people who had absolutely nothing. I used a little bit of intelligence and tactics and gave them all that I could. So, actually, that's what I need to do. Actually, I need to go back and actually replenish my stock. I gave my pistol, my and some food. So I need to run back now and get out. No, I'll just quickly run to the construction site first and see if I can find something there. But I am finding that at the moment it's this game's getting much the same. It's always running out, getting food and trying not to get shot in the face. And Granted, the paranoia is absolutely fantastic. It gives you a high. It does allow you to uh, feel the tension. It gives you adrenaline run. It makes it quite addictive, actually, the, the adrenaline. And if you're like me, you put crosshairs on someone, you start shaking. Because it's in real life, I could never point a gun to someone. And in a game, I found it difficult. Excuse me a minute, just need to cough. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I think someone, someone hasn't been here. Uh, yeah, I find, I find that, especially because this is such a heightened sense of uh, impending peril that you're actually penalised uh, for an hour, you lose all your gear, that it's a lot better than a lot of like, team death matches where you just respawn with all your gear and everything. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want anyone to go through that, I don't want anyone to um, have to wait or get to another character and uh, basically re-roll. say when I watch Daisy a lot that once you've been everywhere and picked up a lot of stuff the only thing left to actually do is uh, become back then. And uh, it's quite true if you actually just sit there and watch people uh, and if, you're, if you want to do it you shoot people. I don't want to do that so I just sit there and watch 
approach them. Uh, I'm trying to actually give them aids, and that might be more interesting than anything else. The amount of people who have actually been giving us someone else aid, and then uh, the person they gave aid to turns around and kills them, is a little bit too high. It's almost as though people don't care. And that in my mind is not right. It's a game where everyone's supposed to be enjoying themselves as well. Granted, there's going to be death in this game. People are going to die and shoot, not be shot. That's uh, something you've got to keep hold of and realise. But also, you're here for fun. You're here not to get angry because someone just shot you because you've had a character with quite a lot of good stuff and you've just given someone a pistol and turned around and blown your head off. So I try and do something where I use proximity chat. And I tell them to meet me by a certain tree. Uh, if I, when I, as soon as I see them, I tell them to stop. I will drop the stuff there. I say, right, as soon as I disappear, you can come and get it. If you follow me, I will shoot you. So far, I've not yet had to actually uh, deal with anyone following me again. With trying to help me with my own weapons. Three shots left in the Mossberg. Why don't I actually just continue as I am? Instead of having to go back and replenish, I can always try and find something on the way. That actually almost makes it more exciting. I'm trying to find some of the stuff that you want instead of having to. One of the things I don't like at the moment, which is making it a little bit too much. The fact that you do have access quickly to a global uh, inventory, even though you've got to log out and log back in again, you can actually go back, pull anything out you want, and you're fully stocked almost. So the longer you play your characters, the more stuff you're going to get. Also, I thought that. Uh, <coughs> sorry. The. Uh, Global inventory had only a certain number of slots per section, but uh, I've got so many melee weapons in there now that it's actually scrolling, and that. I think that's wrong. You should only have a certain amount of slots, especially in the weapon areas. In the weapon areas, I think there should be a lot less. Difficult to get things out. I had also put a time, limit, as I said before, like a postman, where you ask for something, it takes an hour to get to you. So you have to either wait around or you've got to go on out and come back. So, what it does is it comes into. actually dropped into a post office inventory and your character
characters will never pull it out. Whenever, even after they've been killed, it'll still be sat there. But that'll probably just get people pulling loads of stuff into the post office inventory. But I think the post office inventory should only have two slots. You only have two things in there at once. So I ended up big coughing down the microphone. I'm really sorry about that. Sorry about this, I'm a bit quiet there, I'm actually trying to look out my window and someone's banging on someone's door and it's only half past seven on a Sunday in the morning. Just going up to them, bashing them in the head with a hammer. Sneaking around them gives uh, more drama. Maybe if there was more than more of them, which kind of clump together, if you actually attract one, you would have to run. It. You have to pick your fights. Don't do too many of them, but. the drama to unfold. Darkness 
sometimes it can be almost pitch black. If you go to your options screen, you don't you don't even have to turn your um, your brightness up. You can come back and it's like this. It's brighter. Uh, we should actually sort that out. I think. I think it should have a minimum setting. So when you sneak in there, you can't reduce settings to get a favourable tactical advantage. Especially food or a weapon and that, or you will find these hats and masks. Ridiculous. It's like, wouldn't the decay have actually taken most, most of them away?
missing now.
My goodness, that was lucky. Sorry, I just had to cough again. Uh, last night I went out to a, a concert to my wife's 20th uh, anniversary for the place she works in, uh, a, a Christian charity called The Message, and it was rocking. Yeah. The music was fantastic. I'm not into rap or hip hop or anything like that, but it is good. It is good to hear a good message as well. So, unfortunately I'm a bit hoarse, slightly tired, but hey, good things come to those who actually want to do them. If I can try and make it, I don't want to pop the head up, but the trouble is as soon as I come to this little bit of grass here, I'm going to have to shooting with a shotgun. I don't think they're shooting at me. They definitely need to increase the range as the zombie reacts to you know, a lot of the weapons. That is some of the things. But I think it's also that they should bring friends. If the zombie is attracted, if another zombie is in, let's say, 10 meters, they will come also. Death. You, you don't have to have the 
small backpack to start off with, uh, medium backpacks are sort of prevalent around the area if you're lucky. Uh, I've got about 8 in my global pack and I always end up picking them up and dropping them back in afterwards uh, if I find them in my tracks. Watching Daisy and other videos, they say, I can see something on the horizon and with the video because it's always slightly rendered down and you're not running in uh, 1020p. You think, what? Where? And even if you are running it in the best resolution you can, you can't see it because you're not actively watching, you're watching the whole experience and not having tunnel vision, uh, searching around. Moment, I'm looking at little snippets for movement, and it's amazing what you can see when you're playing and what you can't see when you're watching. As I, as you saw, I saw that zombie from almost just a line. There we go, we got conga line there. It's almost like the village people. Should return back to their uh, original patrol points or pathing. There should be something about it. Or at least disperse instead of actually just showing some, someone the exact what direction they were actually walking, uh, running in. It's almost as though they're going to try and insult someone, but when people laugh at their names, they're not laughing with them, they're laughing at them. It's such a stupid name, because I don't want to say any of them out loud, because that's not like me. See the other one there. What they're doing is, they're actually degrading themselves, because most of the th things about gays and things they want people to do to them, or they think of other people, but it's making them look like a right idiot.
would be nice to have See, that was exciting. As I was saying, it's nice. It would be nice to actually use uh, guns as melee weapons as well, and have an option that you can actually just hit them. Uh, but what I would actually do is put the damage down a lot. Sorry, you could probably actually hear my cat calling me saying you haven't fed me enough, but I have. Uh, some of the melee weapons uh, more of a push back to actually just like allow you to get away. Maybe a chance of knocking them down so you can actually run for it. Um, like the baseball bat with batteries, uh, like in Project Zombie, for example, which we just developed more of the uh, To kill zombies easier, what you do is you hit them, you've got a chance of knocking them down. When you knock them down now, you can go over to the uh, prone bodies, and that is when. Gosh. That's when you can kill them. When we're down on the ground. In zombie movies, that's the same as well. The only time. Clip. The only time when they actually really do kill them standing up is with uh, sharp weapons. Weapons, it's always when they're down the ground. That's when they do the most damage. So maybe that's how they should actually make uh, zombies a little bit more threatening. You've actually got to knock them down on the ground and find the head and then hit them. That also will make uh, the chat system a lot easier to use. Allow you to do macro techs. So you've got six buttons there. Another four button, five, six buttons actually. You can actually put macros onto the number pad and minus the equals key. All that for a hat. See what I mean? So you can 
set them out. as well, watch this, I'm actually crawling at full speed, you press the crash button, your hands become static, and the slow your, your, your tummy button is crawling for you, oh don't say there's someone in there, the immersion of the game, you're actually tense, you've just gone through loads of zombies. If you find food, it's when you don't need it, it's, it's always welcome. But a hat? No. Now, it would be interesting if you could actually equip the hat into a secondary slot, like a helmet, swing it round by the chin strap, and use that as a bludgeoning instrument. Very similar to uh, flashlight. Just it doesn't have the light flashing all over the place. Imagine look at that debacle. I'm just going to go over to this corner here. Okay. 
remove those hats and then next time I went back in, I have to remove them to try and renew the spawn point. But thank you all survivors for watching, I hope this has been interesting and entertaining to you. Please like and subscribe, and try and stay alive from the zombie horde. This is Carith Wind signing.